welcome back to my channel. Should I try it in like a um, British accent and be like stereotypical? Oh, hello! If it requires puns, it's not happening today! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, so this is on a review for Devour. I think I tried to make a video and it just became way too rambly and long. Um, I don't want to make this very long. I just want to keep it straight to the point. Devour. Yes or no? I'd say no. Not because I'm bashing it or anything. It's because when I tell you all about it, you'll understand why I don't think it outweighs the cons. So, okay. So I have pictures and stuff like that that are more high def of the nutrition label and before I ate it all. Of course I ate it all, but I shouldn't have because if you read the nutrition label, which I can read right now, you will know that I made a huge mistake. It is 710 calories, 370, 370 from fat, it's 41 grams of total fat, which is 63% of your total that you can have a day, saturated fat, is 85% so you basically can't have anything else after this practically you only have 15% little margin for the rest of your saturated fat because it has 17 grams of saturated fat the trans fat it's one gram so it probably has like some type of hydrogenated oil I didn't and it didn't pop out at me where's Waldo uh, on the ingredient list but I'm just saying it probably has like some type of hydrogenated oil because Trans fat is like the worst, probably. I mean, like, it doesn't even have a percentage that you can have each day to eat. Even though it's only one gram, it has way too much fat. Cholesterol, I have high cholesterol. It's only 28, it's 28 percent. It is 85 milligrams. Sodium, 100, 1,200 milligrams, which is 50 percent of your sodium. The total carbohydrate is 18 percent, which is 54 grams. Dietary fiber, woohoo, is 2 grams, which is 9%. Um, sugars is 7, which I thought was kind of weird that it's so low, but that's probably why it sucks. <laughs> it's not that tasty. just has a shit ton of fat, pardon my French, but it does not have that much sugar. And then it has 32 grams of protein, woohoo, great, it has 32 grams of protein, you'll be full with fat. <laughs> And protein. So protein is the best thing on this dang thing. Yeah, there's 10% of your vitamin A. There's 55% calcium. There's 0% um, vitamin C. And then there's 15% iron. I think I'm anemic. So I kind of need, like, I have an iron deficiency. Like, but nonetheless, seriously. This. Not only is the calories, like, high for me. Because I think my... Uh, linguine stuff that I've tasted, um, like their fettuccine alfredo with the chicken, and then sometimes it'll have the, like, broccoli in and stuff like that. That's probably, like, 300 and something. So, like, half. And it tastes amazing. I'm not even gonna lie. It tastes amazing. Compared to this, actually. I actually really prefer my fettuccine alfredo, or the... One with the rigatoni noodle, whatever. Like it's, it has Alfredo sauce with different types of noodles. I love it. I really do. You know what? Hold on one second. Let me pause my video so it's not long, too long, and uh, let me go get it for you. This is not sponsored either. This whole video is not sponsored. I got this for free because I am a very loyal person to Kroger because it's right across the freaking street and I got a coupon for freebie I don't know if it was originally four and then it went reduced down to like 267 but it it took the 267 off my total so 267 and this is usually I think two dollars I know this is like a little bit less of ounces this is like 12 ounces this is nine and a quarter this is 290 calories versus 710 and it tastes amazing and it only has 9% of your total fat, and 10% of your saturated. I mean, and it has 32% of your protein. It didn't even say a percentage on this one. So this one has 16, this one has 32. It has half the protein. I don't give a crap. 
This one still is pretty damn filling in a sense, and it tastes actually even better. It tastes even better than this. It's crazy. Um, I just love fettuccine alfredo, but this, this, I'm very surprised at it. Like, I don't want to make this huge, long, ranting video like the last one, but seriously, <laughs> this is not up to par with its fat and everything. If you want a heart attack, do it. You know, you can try it. Don't take my word for it. Try it yourself. But if you are on a diet, don't you dare try it. Because you're going to just ruin yourself for that one day. Because you're literally not going to have any more, like, saturated fat. You're going to need to eat some vegetables for the rest of the day. Like, you can't have any saturated fat practically after this. This is ridiculous. Food, you want a fork? Do I want to take my fork and, ugh, oh, I want to slap that food. Some food porn. Do I want to do that? No, I don't want to do that. Yeah, the guy was hilarious on that, um, that commercial. But no, I don't want to fork this food. I don't, food I, is not what, I, no, I do not want to fork this. Do I want to fork this? Yeah, I want to fork this. Do I want to fork this? No. So I, <laughs> I don't want to make this a very long video. I think the other one was like 10 minutes. This is like six minutes. All right. Like, I just want to let you guys know that you don't have to take my word for it, but I would just not recommend this. Not only because it's not amazing, but the fat and everything is just ridiculous. You're only getting really protein out of it. Woohoo. You can find other sources of protein, trust me. Like Premier Protein or anything like that. That has, like, so much better stuff. It's just, seriously. Like, I, I can't even with this. <laughs> so, I hope this was helpful. Um, please leave a nice comment down below. Um, click that like button, thumbs up, whatever button, and, um, subscribe. Um, I will, I will see you guys in another video. I bought some stuff that's coming in soon, so stay tuned. All right, peace and love. Peace and love, guys.